Hi folks, Robert here with more River Train and we are back. Uh, I got a question about uh, routing cable tray. So I'm going a little more in depth with cable tray. So if you remember this project we did, this commercial project, okay, so say they decide they want to use cable tray in this building. So now if you look here in my project browser, I'm going to go to the lighting plan, the ceiling, that's where I am at now, I'm now I'm level one lighting plan which is actually a ceiling plan. So I loaded this motor control center here so my cable tray can connect to it and I can route it throughout this level here. Now I remind you, we've got other things here. We've got HVAC ducts and lights and everything. So this is what I would do. But first of all, I want to show you how this works. You want to be in the system tab. And in the systems tab here, you have cable tray and then down here on the electrical you can select this and then uh, here you have all your cable tray settings and sizes and whatever everything we're going to leave it at default and just get started here so basically what I would do uh, for this and like I said this is probably your best view I would go here and I will select cable tray and then here if I look at my properties I've got a whole selection of different cable trays uses I want you know uh, but for us I'm gonna go a ladder and I'm gonna set this at nine feet for right now I don't know what I'm gonna use because you got other obstacles so this is the fun part when it comes to modeling and routing cable trays because there's a lot going on so basically you got an automatic connect on it I'm gonna select this cable tray and here in the taskbar here it's a 12 inch width it's 4 inch height and it's at elevation 9 foot I might make this a yeah for now let's leave it at 12 so here now I've got automatic connect on here and this piece of equipment should take it uh, this is a motor control center. Okay, I think it did it. Let me just try that once more. Let me try that again here. Yeah, so it accepted it. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to just place it here and just drag it up to this point. And I'm going to cancel. So now, big deal here when it comes to routing cable trays and modeling, you got to have views. So let's go and cut a section view right through here so we can kind of see what's going on and how high we have to go. So I'm going to cut a section right through there. And let's open this guy up. Okay, now it's that fine view now. And remember, let's see what this looks like. In okay. So there's our cable tray and that doesn't look like it's going to work right there so I'm going to do something else here. I'm going to go back into that plan view. Let's see what's going on here. Maybe I'm not seeing what I need to see here. No, it's not. Oh, I just HVAC in a way. No, it didn't connect. Okay, let's try that again. Let's, do this. let's go back into this lighting plan. I'm going to delete this for right now. And I'm going to go into this view, my section view, and just draw a cable tray. And it will be the ladder. And I'll come from here to here. In this case, I'm going to go way up here because I got some clearance here that I don't know. And then I'm going to go this way. I'm going to go back into my lighting plan view and see what I got, what can I work with here. Okay, I got a little something to work with here. Uh, let's just continue this. I will say to here, and then we need to go this way to pick these up. And then we'll need to do a T 
here to go across and down. But remember, the main deal is we can go and adjust these. We can pull this. But I don't want to go that far out. I'm going to go back this way. Now, the, now the fittings are here. I uh, should have showed you those in the settings as well. So I'm going to go back into electrical. I hope they're there. Uh, settings. Okay. But anyway, let's just finish this all. I'm, I think that yeah, they got to be there because I got my bend. So I'm going to draw one from here to here to go across there. And I should get a T. Yep. I mean, yep. And then I'm going to go this way to pick those guys up. Actually, I want to go all the way through here. So this, you get the idea here. Uh, Pretty simple and straightforward. So that's how you would place cable tray. You got all these options. You can take this and just pull this in like that. And then, uh, so you can go throughout this whole building with all your cables and everything. So now, uh, let's go have a look and see what's going on in our 3D view here. Um, let me pull this up just a bit. Let's see what's happening here. see me cable tray okay I give you a better idea let's go into this put this uh, and lighting plan here and then I want to open up my HVAC floor plan that should be actually let's look at this let's have a look in this section because <laughs> it's probably a lot that's going on that we're running into and everything let's just do this right quick and I'm gonna end this video but this is how you would route cable tray in a model. Uh, come on, there you go. I think we're good. There's my cable tray up there. So we might work going through that way. So let's, uh, I'm going to leave it there. And then you can do this. You can actually go and um, go to your 3D view here. And I want to orient this just to view. sections and that's section one come on and then we can go in here and have a look at our cable tray and then you can make adjustments throughout your design and modeling so uh, hey guys thanks for watching I just wanted to share this quick somebody want to know how would you route cable tray in a model I'm not seeing it here on the first level but anyway, uh, we go back to the lighting plan. There's our cable tray runs. So, hey guys, thanks for watching. Talk to you later. See you in the next video. Please subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye.